guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about kind of the technologically advanced things that Japan has. I think it's kind of obvious to a lot of people that Japan has a lot of more high tech things. There are tons in the US as well, but Japan is kind of advanced in their own different ways. I definitely would say one of the downfalls that Japan has is there isn't a lot of Wi-Fi in a lot of the various places compared to like the US. Really anywhere you go in the US, there's really free Wi-Fi, but in Japan that's not really the case. But for now, I'm going to talk to you guys about five technologically advanced things that Japan has that I think are really cool. So number one, vacuum cleaners. So Japanese style vacuum cleaners tend to be a little bit different style. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I've grown up with them my, all my life. One of the cool things about Japanese vacuum cleaners are that they have a light at the top and the bottom of where you're kind of vacuuming. And every time the light turns red, it's signifying that it's dirty right there and that you need to pay attention to that area, which I think is very, very unique and actually very helpful because we can't always see the dirt when we're vacuuming hard floor or carpet. And I think that feature is just very beneficial to everyone. Number two is mirrors. So I don't believe this is the case for every house, but my house here in Japan, the mirrors in the bathrooms they have a button that heats up the mirror for the purpose of when you take a shower and you know you steam up your mirror and you're trying to get ready and but the mirrors are still foggy so you can't see anything well this feature warms up the mirror so that you can still see the mirror and it just doesn't fog up which i think is very very smart and it's such an innovative way to solve such a simple problem Number three is Japanese toilets. So I'm sure many of you already know the cool fancy Japanese toilets, but if you don't, Japanese toilets are very advanced compared to the ones in the US. There's a noise feature that allows you to go to the bathroom and not kind of be shy about it. There's that feature as well as many other ones, such as uh, if you, there's a big and small feature. Uh, so if you go to number one, then you push the character for small. And then if you went number two, then you push the big button, the, which is the character for big, meaning you went number two. And it's just the amount of water that it, it uses. Japan is very conservative and with their water, their heat, air conditioning, everything. And so they want to use the least amount of water. So if you only went pee, then of course it's going to use less water compared to if you pooped and things like that. So number four is car engines turning off automatically. So Japan is all about conserving energy and Japanese people tend to purchase cars that are more newer. You won't see cars that have rusted or that are really old. It's really rare. Most cars always, always look very clean. You don't see dirt on it. It's just so clean and the engines will turn off every time that it is stopped for a certain amount of time. So usually at a stoplight, the engine, if you have your foot on the brake for a certain amount of seconds, it will automatically turn off. And then when the light turns green, if you put your foot back on the, on the gas pedal, it will automatically turn on. The reason for this is to be able to save energy and not you know, be putting out so much gas into the atmosphere. You, it might not sound like it really is has any purpose to it, but I think Adding all, all, all the cars that are you know being driven, it's probably a very beneficial way to be able to save energy. The fifth and final technologically advanced thing that I wanted to talk about is pedestrian stoplights. So because Japan is a heavy public transportation system society, it's very, very normal and common for people to take the train and the bus and uh, subway to work places anywhere. If you are waiting at a stoplight, the stoplight has lines that count down so you know about how long you have until it will turn green again. I think that's just a very beneficial way for pedestrians to be able to know how long they have till they can cross the street. So those are my five technologically advanced things that I think are really cool and I wanted to just share with you guys. Of course there are so much more things. Those are just the most common things that I see, but leave a comment down below your favorite one that I talked about. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already to be able to see weekly videos from me as you guys travel along with me while I'm here in Japan. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mata ne!